miss most if there was no electricity? TV. Television. Radio. I'd miss my dishwasher. <laughs> my food and TV. Blow dry my hair. Computer. Computer. I thought so. Computer. Microwave. Television. Television. Warm oh, something. <laughs> my washing machine. My keyboard. Television. TV. This village in Peru doesn't have electricity. Wood fires for cooking and seeing just by the light from candles does not make for an easy life. No dishwashers, fridges or other electrical things when you only have candle power. Everybody goes to bed really early because it's dark. And at school, just reading and writing can be difficult in gloomy classrooms. But nearby, there's a village that has a power station. This produces electricity which is delivered to the village. The most positive thing which it has brought to La Peca is electric light. With electricity, we can have activities at night. Sometimes all the locals get together in the park when there is a birthday or a national day. Her daughter Jessica is pleased to have electricity too. It is important because at night you can do your homework. Some people use it to watch television so that they can watch films at night. It means you can go out too. You can go to the park at any time because there is electricity. When there is no light, you can't go out. Lundy Island. It's just off the Devon coast. There are some houses in Britain that can't be connected to the mains electricity supply. So this house has gas lamps, candles and heat from the fire. But there is some electricity for the village on the island. There is a generator which runs on oil, generating electricity for the people on the island. But oil is expensive. So to save this fuel, it gets switched off every night at midnight. This is a modern house in rural Zambia. Come in. I haven't got electricity. I use paraffin for my light, and I use candle, and I use battery, car battery, to power my record player. And I had the studio. I use small batteries to operate my radio cassette. It is perfectly possible to manage without electricity. But Zambia is a country with plenty of sunshine. Out in remote countryside, fitting special panels that can make electricity from sunlight is a good way of having electricity. These panels are called solar panels, and fitted to the roof means you can have electricity all the time the sun is shining. So, time now for the big question. Where does all this electricity come from? I mean, in the countryside, they have lots of pylons and electrical cables that carry the electricity over the land. But here in the city, there's no room for pylons, so where does it come from? Electricity. Well, the answer is under the ground. Wait a minute, it's an earthquake. 
Oh, something's happening! Oh, the pavement's moving! <laughs> this is the secret entrance to a world of electricity that is beneath your feet. Come along and we'll have a look at it. Here we go! Down these stairs, down these stairs. Now, mind how you go down the stairs. Now, did you know that there are over 29,000 kilometres of electrical cables that are buried deep within the city of London? Now, the thing is, if you put them end to end, they would stretch from London to Australia. Now, come along, come along, down here. Ha -ha. And there are lots of these electrical substations all over London. And inside this room, this is where everything happens, so come with me. Now, this, 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 is where it all happens. You see, each of these separate switches control the electrical supply that make all of the lights in the city of Torrance, London light up. It's absolutely brilliant. Grand buildings, Trafalgar Square, and take a look at this one, Trafalgar Square Fountain. And there are others besides that control cinemas and theatres and restaurants. And if I was to throw any of the switches, I could plunge them into total and utter darkness. <laughs> The Adventures of Electromouse. Our hero saves the day again. It all began up in the attic when this mouse stumbled on an old junk toaster. Now, you and I know you don't mess with junk, especially electrical junk. But these two little fellas, well, they weren't that clued up. It was a good thing I happened to be passing. Ah, are they? Hey, fella, sticking knives in toasters is bad news, isn't it? You were lucky this time, but, uh, oh, hang on. Touch a bare wire, lad, and you're a dead mouse. Now, come here, I've got a much safer idea. I showed them this brand new toaster, right, with a brand new plug and that. Because remember, electricity can be safe. You just have to use it right. Ooh, ooh. <laughs>